Hi guys, welcome back to drumhead.com. I'm Rich. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different. We've had a few messages over the you know course of the last few months with all the content that we're putting out at the moment about what these two symbols are. People are asking what they are. Okay, so I'm going to cover that with you. I'm going to explain. I'm going to play them a little bit so you can really see what they are. Obviously, the Paiste symbols because I'm a Paiste artist, and these are the big beats. Okay, so I have a 22 inch big beat here and I have a 20 inch big beat here. Now, the majority of the time, these are the symbols that I use now for pretty much everything. Sometimes I have another crash here, um, but these are really just symbols. They're not a ride, they're not a crash, they're just a symbol. Okay, now I absolutely love these. I got turned on to them a few years ago by uh, Paul at Korg. I was at the UK drum show, sat down at a kit, played this and went, right, okay, I have to have that symbol. And two days later, that's the very symbol that I actually had. Okay, so, you know, they are absolutely fantastic. They're really, really versatile. So as you can see, we can play, you know, some nice kind of swung stuff on them. They're also great on the bell because they're still a little bit subtle. They're not like a proper ping, but they sound nice for kind of a little bit of something a little bit more solid. They also make absolutely fantastic crash cymbals. Even though it's 22 inches, it's still Fantastic crash, as is the 20. Okay, so let me use them a little bit in a little bit sort of more of a rocky context so you can really hear what they sound like. So guys, to me, the kind of that all round symbol, they've got the touch. And they've also got that crack when you want it. So there you go guys. The Paiste Big Beat 22, the Paiste Big Beat 20, for all the guys that asked what they are, now you know. Let me play them a little bit for you. <laughs> <laughs> 